Hey guys, Peter from cyclistshub.com here. In this video I want to quickly summarize the recent Garmin Edge 540 and 840 leaks and inform you about what we can expect from these upcoming bike computers. I will talk about their features, pricing and potential release date. Take the following information with a grain of salt because they were not officially confirmed by Garmin. They are based on the leaks from Adorama.com. So what new Garmin Edge models can we expect? It seems that Garmin will introduce Garmin Edge 540, 540 Solar, 840 and 840 Solar. The new Garmin Edge 540 and 840 will have a revamped user interface. The same one we know from Garmin Edge 1040 and Explorer 2. It's more user friendly and it's easier to use. We will also finally be able to customize the head units via the Garmin Connect smartphone app, just like Wahoo head units. The Edge 840 and 840 Solar will have a touchscreen display, but newly also physical buttons for those who prefer them. This is probably one of the biggest surprises. The storage capacity will remain the same on 540 models, but will double to 32 GB on 840s. All models should also come with the multiband GNSS, which improves GPS accuracy. The claimed battery life for the 540 and 840 should increase to 26 hours from 20 hours on 530 and 830. The solar models should increase it to up to 32 hours in ideal conditions. This means plus 25 minutes per hour of riding. While the claim battery life improved, this improvement is a little bit disappointing compared to the 40% increase seen from the Edge 1040 compared to the 1030 plus. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and uh, by the way you can smash that subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. Thanks. It looks like the display size of 2.6 inches will remain the same, but the dimensions will differ by a few millimeters. We can also expect that they will still have features like crash detections, the same sensor connectivity, detailed maps and navigation. Based on the leaked information, the pricing of the new Garmin Edge devices should be as follows. I was expecting a $50 price increase compared to the previous generations. The $100 premium for solar is the same as on the Edge uh, 1040. Do you think it's reasonable? Let me know in the comments below. Initially, I predicted that Garmin would release these new models before Christmas, <laughs> but this didn't happen. The current assumption is that they will be launched in the next few weeks, most likely in April. However, no exact date has been confirmed yet. To be honest, I didn't have high expectations for the 540 and 840 due to the current market situation, but this leak pleasantly surprised me. The question is whether Garmin has chosen the right strategy, as these models may compete with the flagship Edge 1040 and 1040 Solar. I will try to get my hands on the new head units as soon as possible to review them, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay updated. Those who read my review of the Edge 1040 know that I was among the first people in the Czech Republic to get their hands on it. So you know, like, little flex. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.